Hello, good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. Checking out a beautiful 2014 Ranger 2310 Bay. This is powered by Evan Rude's tried and true E-Tech, rated at 250 horsepower. We got dual power pole blades on the back for shallow water anchoring. And the motor is mounted on a Bob's Machine Shop hydraulic jack plate. Really nice feature for when you're trying to get into those skinny water conditions. Fold down step ladder for swim access. Lenko trim tabs. Sea Blaze dual LED underwater lights. Great for morning or night fishing. Dual transducers. You got Raymarine hybrid touch system, an oversized screen at the main helm, and then a second screen up on the half tower. Nice T top for shade with wonderful looking canvas. Fold down footrest for the captain's seat. Tons of casting deck space and storage. It's kept out of the water inside a high and dry marina. Gel coat appears in great condition overall. I see no damage under the water line. Just a couple of scuffs from the forklift. Rub rail looks all good. Really nice feature is Minn Kota's Riptide iPilot trolling motor. Runs off a GPS position. It's remote operated as well, so wherever you're fishing on the boat, you can control what the trolling motor's doing, no problem. Motor has 470 hours on it. Do my best to hop up on deck while I'm holding the camera here. All non-skid pattern, molded into the decks, the gunnels, you got flush mounted pull-up cleats and rod holders as well. Plenty of vertical rod holders behind the captain's seat and up on the T-top. LED spreader lights forward and aft. Dual jump seats underneath the rear casting deck. Great for longer trips on the water or just cruising days. Got washed down. Rear live well under this hatch. Easy access to your bilge under this rear hatch. All the hose clamps look good. And then under this hatch, we've got some additional pump access. Onboard battery charger is linked up to four battery bank. We've got December 17 stamps on them. Nice wiring diagram, always helpful. And then battery switch with some additional storage inside here. There is a fresh water system on board, so showering off is great after some salt water swimming. Plenty of deck space. They've really packed a bunch into this 23 foot center console. Helms laid out beautifully. Nice high backrest on the double wide seat with a fold down footrest and under helm storage access. Smooth throttle and shifter. And then when you're trolling, you've got RPM control, trim tab remotes, lift plate indicator and then switch operates that. All push button operation on your accessories. Raymarine VHF, Jensen, really nice Bluetooth setup with the stereo. And then a huge Raymarine hybrid touch. Your eye command gauges are linked into the motor, giving you all the information you need. And then your power pole remote is over here. You can see the underside of the seat and a little night lighting bar. Some non-skin pattern for some storage. Foot panel and fold down step up for when you're wanting to get up into the tower. See your Raymarine mic plugged in on this side. Nice backrest on it. This unzips, gives you plenty of seating and visual space. 
Again, redundant helm setup with the second Raymarine screen. Freshwater fill up on this side. An even bigger hatch to access underneath the helm. Get to all your wiring, the freshwater pump, freshwater tank, and the Raymarine head unit. And then you can see the freshwater shower head just pulls out on this side. T-top appears to be securely mounted. I see no spider cracking anywhere. Ranger does a really good build with their hulls. Lots of forward deck space. Cast net bucket storage, some additional room down in the bilge. Forward live well. All these are lockable too. Fish box or dry storage that's insulated. Some additional dry storage, rod racks as well. You can see the beautiful fit and finish to all the stainless steel fixtures. And there is one nick out of the gel coat. And that's the only damage I see on the entire vessel. Room for the big rods in here. Another fish box on this side, it drains out. Moving forward, we've got easy access to the trolling motor. And anchor locker as well. They've done a good mold in for when you've got your line out if needed. Please take this opportunity to check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com. And you can give me a call today. My name is Andy. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about this beautiful 2014 Ranger 2310 Bay. It is ready for fishing and cruising. Let's get you out on the open water and having fun. I look forward to speaking with you, meeting you in person for a walkthrough. Let's get you out on the water. Talk to you soon.